country. This is one of a kind. You know, we, we've got a couple of places, several places in Louisiana that's like that. You know, they're jewels, and we've got to protect those. but also jeopardizes public health and safety by emitting methane and um, fueling the climate crisis. Uh, so today we will visit the B5 well, which measures 1,250 feet deep and went into production in January 1977. The problem is this is one of the most beautiful places in Louisiana, one of the most beautiful places I've ever seen. I'm talking about the Atchafalaya Basin. And we can't have eyesores like this, threats to the environment, threats to groundwater and surface water, and fish and wildlife propagation. We need to clean sites like this one up. I walked right by it. Over time, that infrastructure will start to deteriorate and ultimately leak, especially in this environment that we have salty conditions and infrequent flooding. We don't visit this site every day, and because this well is considered orphan, it could rupture and something could leak at any given time. What happens is they're either you no know, longer in business or unable to clean them up. And yes, we as the state and the um, federal government, we are left to clean them up because of the hazard they present. And it keeps the story relevant. But... Is that a, is that a lining? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, things that'll bite you and stick to you. Okay. <laughs> The thing that we've missed though in the past is not holding these companies accountable when they come in to leave your property the way they took it.